Okay, guys. Hello there. This is Zapchocity, and welcome to a brand new episode of Zap's Minecraft World. Let's turn that sound down. Okay. So, we are in the end. Um, as you just saw, I finished this uh, pathway here. So, this is the ice and trapdoor pathway. If you don't know, you can play the place with trapdoors and slabs, so... Yep, so that's just to keep me from going out, walking out, but I'm still able to look over the edge of everything. I think on top I'm going to put water, and that's going to make everything flow off the edge so that the endermen do not spawn, or, well, they can't really spawn anyways because this is glass and there's torches, but, uh, so they don't teleport there. And I need to rip out that. So yeah, so what I have been busy doing is, um, since last episode was the world tour, I really needed to get some more resources. So I went out caving a ton and got ourselves quite a lot of iron and stuff, but, oh man, oh, I left something back at, in the overworld, I'll probably have to get, grab that, but uh, I want to start this episode off with a... Another montage. This one's going to be a pretty special one. So, yes, let's get right into it. Okay, so that concludes the montage. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. You should have been able to see what I was enchanting. Uh, it was basically, I basically had a bunch of, no, here, here. Uh, I, I have all my, like, good enchantments there that I got on my enchanted books. I've been enchanting a lot of enchanted books. Yeah, there's some scattered around everywhere. Looking for some particular enchantments to get the ultimate set of diamond armor. So, I had to kind of mess around and try and figure out what the best armor was. So, it needed to be quite strong, but still be repairable. That's what I wanted, anyways. So, I'll show you guys the armor if you didn't see it in depth. So, we have our pretty cool helmet. Aqua Affinity 1, Respiration 3, Protection 4, and Unbreaking 1. That should be that's pretty good. Uh, look at that. So it should last me well underwater, it lasts a little longer with unbreaking. Uh, just unbreaking one does pretty good, because there's still that chance that nothing, you know, if you're lucky then it'll take longer to break. Protection four, which is the maximum protection enchantment you can get. Uh, we have protection four, thorns two, and unbreaking three, so that's pretty good against some other mobs. So we at least have a thorns enchantment, so something can attack back. It's gone unbreaking three, as well, because of the protection four. Protection four kind of, um, if you don't know what it does, it kind of like, if something attacks you, instead of taking away your health, it'll go into the armor, and it'll do damage to the armor instead of your health. That's kind of what it does. So the unbreaking three helps it out a bit. Along with there, I've got blast protection four on this. Now with the combination of protection four there, protection for there and protection for there the blast protection for there actually makes me the it basically makes explosions like useless it's the maximum amount of uh like uh what's the word for it no i don't know okay i don't know the word for it but uh it just helps um the it maxes out the blast protection protection you can get 
And we got here Feather Falling 4, Protection 4, and Unbreaking 3. So that should are uh, some pretty good boots. Lasts us a long time, protects us, and the f uh, you can if you I just wear these Feather Falling boots um, and nothing else, I think the Protection 4 and Feather Falling 4 combined together give you enough protection against Ender Pearl damage. So that's pretty cool, it's the ultimate set of armor. Feel free to take this if you want. Uh, it's also repairable, so... But it's only repairable if we rename these these armor pieces. So we need a cool name for each piece, it's like we did for our tools here, our ultimate set of tools. We need one for our ultimate set of armor. So what should we call each piece? The diamond boots, the diamond leggings, diamond chest plate, and diamond helmet. We need some suggestions on that. Uh, feel free to use these enchantments for you as you if you want to. If you want to use these in your own world or something. Probably, it might not be the best. There possibly might be some better combinations. But this is my, uh, my, you know, best set that I've discovered. That works well for me. Uh, the protection for on it also protects us against some melee and, um, uh, melee or melee. No, it's melee, isn't it? And projectile a bit. But not max, it doesn't max it out though, so... It's not, it doesn't have all the enchantments, otherwise it wouldn't be repairable. Okay, I've been blambering on about this. Um, I think all I need to do left is to, I just might want to repair my hammer and my mad, and then I think we'll head back and we can start on today's episode. Okay guys, repaired the stuff, and we're back here on the island. Uh... I probably shouldn't have repaired some of these because this still was a bit of durability and ah uh, well I'll just waste my diamonds. I do need to get some more diamonds. I am running low on diamonds so yeah I'm wondering if we should put our awesome armor on straight away. Hmm I guess we can. Oh wow I feel wow it feels I feel like so powerful I feel it's quite yeah, armor is can be quite overpowered. I'm just going to throw that down in the sewer. Whoa. How do you get down there? Okay. I have no idea, and I'm not going to bother even getting him. Alright, so, as I said before, um, I went on, like, a resource collection. Um, I might actually show you what... Uh, things I collected. Collected some gold and some lapis and some other stuff. Maybe uh, there's a bit of stuff I've collected still in there that I haven't taken out. Oh wow, strange lag. Here we are. This is what I've collected. Um, I think before we had that much iron. Now we have this much iron, which is pretty cool. Got some more lapis, some more gold, but I didn't find any diamonds. Oh, I did find some emeralds, though. Yeah, I found some uh, in a mountain. I need more diamonds, though. Some people have huge amounts of diamond, and I just have a tiny bit. Which isn't good if I've got all this good set of armor and tools and everything. But, oh well. I will get to doing that soon. wonder what... No, that did no damage to me. Okay, so, today's episode, I think we're gonna do... Um, I have, have some plans. What I need to do is to finish off some stuff, still. Uh, I did... No, I... No, not really. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I collected some wood as well, with my resource collection thing. Uh, I want to build like a roof around this whole thing and make it look nicer. I don't know what to build it out of though. You know, maybe uh, um, like a light color, like sandstone or something. This looks dark. So uh, I think I need to gather some stuff up and we will try out some designs for something that will look cool around here. So guys, I've got myself some resources and we're gonna make this place look cool so I've got some sandstone once there's some birch wood I got some glass as well if that might look nice uh, that dirt right there is supposed to be for the jungle trees so 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have jungle trees at top because I don't really need much jungle wood. I I don't even have any jungle jungle saplings yet, so yeah, no, don't really need to worry too much about that yet. And I'm thinking of putting like pillars here. Now, what do you guys think? Uh, I just want it to be a single block, not like a four by four pillar. Um, that's because it's kind of expensive. I don't want to use up too much sandstone. Uh, so what do you like? Do you like this here? This kind of pillar? Or do you think it should be the smooth sandstone? Well, since you guys... Uh, I have to wait for you guys to reply to that. I'm just going to use the smooth sandstone here. Which is going to make me have to craft some more of this. Alright, so we need to pull that up on all four sides. All the way to the top. So, that looks pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Pillars, uh, it might need to be four, I'm not sure, and that rhymed. Okay, I think I've marked out the connection points, I think we should connect them up, kind of make it like a square, like a construction square, you know, marking the borders of stuff. Um, and then we need a cool roof. Also, I think we need to have a sandstone lining around it too and oh man it's gonna be tough well let's first of all whoa whoa man let's first of all get this kind of outer ring i wonder if it should be made out of that or out of that what do you guys think actually it could be like uh upside down half slabs half slabs yeah could be half slabs. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think we're gonna go with solid blocks. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll see what happens, and yeah, okay. Awesome. So we've got this whole ring done. That look should look pretty cool from the bottom. Woohoo! Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, what I've noticed is it's quite like dark around the edges there, but it kind of it kind of makes a pattern because of the torches on the dirt. It kind of makes it go like light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, which is pretty cool. I brought some redstone lamps just in case if we wanted to do anything. Um, I've got some glass here. I think most of the roof will be glass because I am going to be too lazy to have a full roof. I th think... Oh, I was going to make it out of birch, so that might be actually alright. Um, I think, though, we're going to have uh, glass on top of the dirt, I think. No, I think I'm going to have it the other way around. I'm going to have, like, birch wood on top of the dirt there, so to prevent the jungle trees from growing huge. Or, which I think is actually probably unnecessary, because uh, they're not the... For 2x2 two jungle saplings, so that should be fine. But I think I want to put some glass around it or something, so we'll see, we'll see. I'll get myself some wood and we'll start building some stuff. Okay guys, now I have finished this, so oh, looks like there's some dirt left over. Oh, we'll grab this real quick. Ah. So this is the roof. It's looking pretty nice. Um, looks like there's still a couple of things that are bugging, are getting glitched up. Let's have a look at this, for example. The stairs gone crazy. Bam! There we are. Okay, that that all of that row looks fine. So let's have a closer look at how I've got. I've got glass here. So on these rows, I have it. It comes down a block. Uh, this is for the trees, so they don't grow too high, even though it's unnecessary. I've got stairs leading into some glass blocks. That makes it look nice. Didn't have a lot of glass, so I, I had to make sure I didn't use too much. A lot of birch wood, so it's pretty cool. It leads slowly up, up, and then back down into the kind of outwards part. Uh, I could have done a roof like a triangles kind of roof, but that's... Nah, that's... Everyone does triangle roofs. I 
think what I haven't done is some of these are more out than necessary and some of them on this side are too short which is a pain I might have to fix that uh, I did have this other stuff here because what I wanted to do is I wanted to set up um, an edit pearl elevator and all sorts of stuff to get up and down but I don't think we're going to do this because I've already spent quite a long time working on the roof for this so we'll work on that another time I love falling off there and just interpearling so yeah it looks pretty nice it kind of looks too straight with the things holding it up I think it needs to kind of like curve in a bit curves on the side like some stairs there yeah I think it needs some a pretty big arch around it to uh, make it look nice yeah that would look pretty cool I'll do that sometime soon but I have a project I really wanted to work on so I was gonna start this as soon as we got um, some enchanted tools which was ages ago around about like episode 8, 9 when we first got on enchanted tools I wanted to create an ice farm yeah I had this cool design but I think uh, since I never made an ice farm, I was too lazy to. I think most people have come up with the same design I did around that period of time. So um, I'll show you guys it, and we'll head over to an ice biome, and yeah, we'll do some stuff. Ooh, this is a lot of junk. Okay, so guess where we are, guys? Yeah, we are in the snowy snow. Ooh. Hello. Uh, in the snow biome, we found ages and ages ago. I've been, I think I actually created like a ice farm around here or something. Well, like a really small ice tray kind of thing where I could just collect, harvest some ice because I was running low. Oh, over here it is. Here it is. So over here, I was just, this was like my basic ice farm setup because uh, I needed ice back then. But yeah, in somewhere ages ago, we went on an exploration, and we found this area here, which was pretty cool. So I have some uh, obsidian here. I think we need to create a portal to get over here. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to build this up in the air, above the trees, so I don't have to keep harvesting trees uh, around here, and also... It gives us protection from some mobs, so that's a pretty cool idea. Well, wow, oh no, no, I thought this was all a big tree right there. If you stand in this kind of perspective, it kind of see it looks like a huge tree, sort of. Unless you're smart and can see that it isn't a big tree, then yeah. All right, so over here, let's craft ourselves a crafting table, and let's place that down. Okay, now. What I want to do is to save on wood, is to build loads of this out of slabs. Um, I actually might use, uh, what, what's it called, a uh, half, no, no, that's just regular slabs, not upside down, upside down, upside down half slabs. That's another name for it, upside down, upside down half slabs. Okay, so right here I think would be an awesome place to put a portal. So, we are going to place one right here all right so let's place it down bump and let's get ourselves another half slab going i wonder if it'll look cool if i put use half slabs here i don't know i just need to place them there so i can build this up what oh right it requires 10 obsidian oh man oh man Ah, oh, okay guys, man, I'm going to have to run all the way back there and get some more obsidian or something. Okay, be right back. Whew, guys, man. Oh. Okay, now we got it. Stupid. How, how, why would I even think of getting eight? Man, that was pretty stupid of me. Okay. Voila. Alright, let's head in and see where this takes us. Alright, hopefully this takes us 
Okay, it takes us over here. Um, oh, great. Now I have to walk all the way back there. Oh, no, I think I just need to get some more obsidian. Now that I'm here, I can get some more obsidian. I'll probably build a portal around this, that area there, and I think that should be good enough. So, let's do that. Okay, so I got myself the 10 obsidian. 10 this time, yeah. I'm not making that same mistake again. But, um, the thing is, uh, I didn't write down the coordinates for the ice farm, because I didn't know, I, I was, I'm not thinking today, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere over here. Okay, so, whoa, there's a, there's a wither skelly over there, um, but since I know that we have the portal to the desert somewhere over there, I think... If we just move a portal, put a portal over here, it should be pretty good. This guy's, this guy wants me, doesn't he? Oh, well, he was stupid. All right, so if we put a portal somewhere over here, it should link us to the ice farm because it will probably be the closest portal. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Okay, so I think right here is a cool location for it. Now. There is a possibility it might take us back to our, um, our island, because this might be closer to our island. While wow, explaining this portal stuff is really difficult. Um, some people might know what I mean, but I'm not really explaining that well either, so... Uh, we'll just see. Let, we'll, we're going to guess that this here is a portal that's close to our ice farm, and I'll link up and let's see. Um, no, I was completely off. Okay, let's tear that down. That was really off. I really do need the coordinates of that ice farm. Okay, man, I'll have to see. Okay, so I still can't be bothered getting the coordinates, so we're just going to take some guessing games here. How about this? Is this going to be good enough? I don't think so, actually. Yes, we did it! No, wait, what? Um, okay, well, we're in a snow biome. I don't think we're in the same location, though. Wow, okay, well, it's good enough for me, I guess. We're still here in a snow biome. have no idea where that other portal is now. So hopefully that this portal takes us back to um, our island, well not our island, the nether, the, to that nether portal we found. Okay, oh, don't want to be suffocating there. So if we take this portal, we appear right here, which is perfect. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be using this portal as our uh, ice farm, I guess. There will be just a flowing portal in the middle of nowhere now, which is just great. But anyways, let's hop in there. Alright, so now our ice farm. Now we can actually move on to the fun part. Um, this is actually pretty close to the ground. Alright, we are actually going to move this up. Alright, so we need to remember this location. Okay, and let's move it up. Okay, now that I've done that, I just suddenly realized we've got extra obsidian. Which I oh now I get it I had eight obsidian before but when this portal was created it created the sides, huh? Interesting. Pretty cool I guess. I hope this doesn't affect the portal. I think it should still sync up. Should sync up still, just as good. Yep. All right, and we go through this, and hopefully that will sync us back. I'm no portal expert actually, so. Okay, good. Up here is a lot safer. Uh, we want to be out of range of all the skeletons and stuff. We don't want them shooting at us. So now here we can build out. Okay. Now, is it possible to do a half slab downwards? We will find out. Well, we could just do this. Okay. Cool. So I wanted to... This here can be like a little base entrance thing. Um, I think if you sneak on a half slab, you can actually fall off it. 
I'm not too sure, but I'm not gonna take a risk and let's craft ourselves a chest here. Alright. Cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And let's get that right there. Okay guys, so I think what I need to do is throughout the night I'm going to try and show you guys or we'll build a little demo of the ice farm I think that I came up with ages ago but yeah ah oh well it's not really mine anymore it's other people's now because <laughs> they've claimed the idea so let's build this ice farm and we'll see where it leads to so guys I have been busy look infinite wood source there whoa oops there goes some of that snow um Anyways, I've been pretty busy, so as you can see, this is the ice farm. I, after doing some little bit of research, I found out that Doc M77, Exumavoid, and Panda4994 have also uh, made a ice farm like this. So that's pretty cool too. So the way uh, ice freezes is that if you're in a snow biome, it doesn't have to be snowing. It can be raining, or well, it can't be raining in snow. Um, it has to either be day or night, rain or sun. Ice will freeze, uh, water will freeze into ice uh, if there is a solid block next to it. So you can see here, I've got a, it has to be source block like this. It can't be one of those flowing water, water stream things uh, like, oh. Uh, that was a really bad example. There we are. That's a better example. So you see this flowing water. This is not going to turn into ice. Now it will. And it needs to have a solid block next to it. Uh, for it to melt. So if you didn't know that. That's some ideas on s some ice farms. So right here as you can see. I'm underneath here. I can just run along and. You know. Chop down all my ice. Harvest it. I've used slabs so that no mobs can spawn here during the night. As you can see, it's a lot darker, but... Ah, well. Uh, works nicely. It's working nicely already. You can see I've already harvested some things. You can see right there, these silk touch shares are prob probably aren't the best for harvesting the ice. Um, I would try to be as resource-friendly as possible by using some slabs around here. So yeah, this is the design, um, there'll be a link in the description if you haven't seen this design that uh, Panda used in his LP ages and ages ago. Almost around the time I uh, thought of an ice farm like this too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, what I need to do though is to create more layers of these and continue it along. So as you can see, each layer is ice. So it kind of, it's this thing here, this big thing here and you plop it next to each other so you can see here this has a central source block here with signs and so on and so on whoa whoa that's oh wow that was a crazy lag spike there and I don't know what's happening again oh it's I just stopped snowing that's why okay uh, so you can see right there I have source block here not for an infinite water source it is an infinite water source I can take water from it but uh, it also so there's water underneath here. As you can see here, when there's water there and water there, it makes a source block there. See right there? And that will continue along the line, so that's pretty cool. That's how it all works. So yeah, feel free to build that in your own world. But I think we're going to end this episode here for today. It's been pretty long, especially for me. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work over here. I'm probably going to put some of this wood here so I can continue building this another time. But we're going to stop it here for today. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a strange little one. Uh, we're going to go back into the productive stuff like always. So, take care guys. See you next time.